Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see the DNS settings, DNS zones, and DNS propagation for our host name. So let's move to the server and get started. So right now I am onto the server and let's log into the CWP control panel. Here we have a dashboard. Whenever you are working with the DNS, make sure that your host name DNS zone is created. For that, we have to go to the DNS function and you can see the list zones. Here you can see our host name cwp.testingo.in.db. So this zone should be created because it has all the required records for the DNS. You can see all the records are there. And if you do not see this inside your CWP panel, what you can do, you can go to this server setting, click on this change host name and you can just click on change host name. So we have already set our DNS to ns1.testingo.in and it is pointing to this IP. We have a two name server and they are pointing to the same IP. And yesterday uh, it was not resolving to this IP. But now after the DNS propagation, it is resolving to this IP. So our name server has been set properly and our DNS zone is also set. If we go to this change host name, Yesterday it was showing us an error that host name is not pointing to anywhere. Now the cwp.testingo.n is resolving to the IP 122.160.33.179. I'm using the Airtel connection. So the PTR record is configured by the ISP. If in your case you want to set this PTR record to the same as your host name, you have to contact your ISP to set the PTR record on this IP. And if we try to open it with the host name, let me try to open it with the host name. Now you can see the host name can open the page. We have a SSL error because right now it is not secured. So we have configured the name server and our host name is pointing to our IP. We need to check this with this DNS propagation site. If we go and check with this site, let me paste the domain name that is cwp.testingo.n this is our host name and if i click on name server and if we search the name server you can see the name server is ns1.testingo.in and ns2.testingo.in and in most of the reason it is propagated and same way if we go with the host a record and i will click on search this host a record is pointing to our ip that is 122.160.33.179 and I can open this URL from anywhere now. If I try to go into the new incognito window and let's try to type the host name that is cwp.testingo.in and the port number is 2031. You can see the page is loading and we are able to log in with this URL. You can see the URL is there and we can log in. So now this URL will work anywhere. Again to cross check, first of all, go to the DNS function, edit name server IP. You need to put the name server here and then make sure that this zone is created here. If it is not created, you can create by clicking on the change host button. And once it is done, if you see this resolution here, if you see your IP, that means your DNS is propagated properly. And if you check the default website, that is cwp.testingo.in. Let me copy this and I will paste it here. You can see this page is loaded. This is a default page. You can see the HTTP test page for CentOS web panel. So if you see this page, that means everything is working fine. So I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.